everybody. Welcome back to the Magnetic Squatch. I am out here again today with Jason from Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. We are at a new location for us. We love the backcountry roads. I found one this week. We're out Green Cove Springs, Florida, South Green Cove Springs, Florida, and I found a couple bridges that are only a couple hundred feet apart from each other. We're gonna start at this location. We're gonna move up the road a little bit here. And if these places aren't as good as we're thinking they are, and I have a feeling they're gonna be, we've got one more spot we're gonna to try to hit today. Stay tuned, see what we catch today. And if you're interested in joining the magnet fishing family, you really need to check out Brute Magnetics. I throw the 3,600 pound double-sided beast. It's 1,800 pounds pool on each side. If you're interested in purchasing one yourself, the link will be down in the description or you can use my checkout code TMS10. All right, everybody, we're gonna get our first toss in here. Let's see what's down in this backcountry creek. First toss, first pull up. I think my magnet came out cleaner than it went in. I'm still trying to figure out what that right there is. Yeah, it looks like a freaking baby doll. It does. Yeah. It creeped me out. <laughs> That's just like <laughs> it's so creepy. I know. I, just wondered I don't know if y'all can see on the video if I'm even getting my finger on it, but right where his magnet just landed. Looks like there's like a baby doll head sticking up out of the water or something over there. Yeah, if you guys can't tell on the video by the fact that uh, Jason's bundled up, it's nice and chilly out here today. And I'm just standing here in short sleeves. Not bad considering Let's see. Nice. Yeah, Jason just throws out and on his first toss he pulls up. Looks like, a, looks like there's some threads on there. All right. Snagging up a couple of nails and uh, that's just a. It looks like it was an, an old bolt with some with a nut on it. All right, a big old piece of rebar. Backwoods country creek cleanup, baby. First bottle cap. All right, what do you think it's gonna be? All right, Jason just pulled up a bottle cap. I'm going to say, looking at the color of it, I'm going to say it is a Michelob. I'm going with Bud Light. Bush We're light. both wrong. It's a bush. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I've got something here. Something pretty big. What do we got? <sighs> what? Piece of wood? Morning. Hello. Good morning. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's got metal in it. It's got right there is what it hooked, hooked on uh -huh. to. It's got, Damn, if this wood was different, I would think it was a gun. I know. I, that's kind of what it looked like coming up, but I'm not really sure what that is. All right. What's Jason got over here? Rebar or a big old. That looks like it's a bolt. big old. That's a la long lag bolt. Wow. Nail? And then this guy. Oh, that's just a big old washer, isn't it? Mm. Oh no, it's not. What in the world is that? That looks like it's like part of an oil filter or something. You think so? Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, I see what you see. Yeah. Huh. All right. Whoa. I was not expecting that. Uh, what is this? An old piece of angle iron. Yeah. Now we're magnet fishing. Oh, yeah. stuff in the bottom of yeah. that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. As long as you'll find a dog. We've got, not here we have it, but we can welcome well, well, I hope you find something worth something else. Yes, sir. Right. Thank I you. I need that truck. That's a nice truck. <laughs> Put a lot of rusty metal in the back of that. Yes, you could. Oh, crap. I don't know. 
but it like sucked onto it right when I went to pull up. All right. Part of a box of something. I think this is part of the. Uh, that other thing. That hinge I pulled up. Oh, yeah, I bet you that is. Whatever it is, it it has holes in like it screwed into the wall or something. All right, pulling up that. something here. Oh, yes. I got some scissors. Sweet. Broken off handle, but hey. Some. It's Murder metal. Murder metal. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've hooked onto something here. I'm not really sure what this is, but let's see if I can get it up. It is dangling. Uh, and, All right. We'll be playing the bottle cap game here in a second. That's like a, just a piece of rebar, but it was bent purposely yeah. Yeah. in that angle. Okay. But if it I, was smaller, I'd say it was a little uh, thing where you put your foot in it like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you say? I'm going to go with Bud Light. Boy, that's an old one, too. Yep. I'm going to say Miller. Oh, it's a bush. No light. All right. No, it just says bush beer on this one. All right, so we've established that somebody fishes at this location. And... Uh, they're knocking back some bush beer while they're here. All right, got something else on here. Handle of some sort? It is. That's a handle to something. Fishing rod, maybe? It might be. It, yeah, it looks like it might be a handle to an old fishing rod. There you go. That looks like another one of those. That's a pulley. Oh, it is a pulley. It's either a pulley or it's um, for a belt, like for an engine, where the so belt would go. Yeah. All right, got my first piece of metal over here. Got a piece of rebar. Oh, that looked like a screwdriver from where I was at at first. That's just like a big old piece of rebar. Yep. All right. Okay. And what did we have here? Guys, we got a knife. We got murder metal. All right. Check that out. That handle's gone. That is old. That's been down there for a long time. Sweet. All right. Knife number one today. Assuming we're going to get more of them? I'm, I'm prophesizing, yes. Oh. And I found one of those <clears throat> one of those big pieces of rebar that Jason was finding. Hey! I'm oh, it missed. I don't know what this is from. That looks like it's to some um, racking or something. That's like a yeah. support beam to something. A bracket. Huh. All right. Snag fishing line, and I'm pulling some old wood up with it. Let's see what all's on here. Oh, I have bone. Bone? Yes, I have bone. Oh. I probably said that wrong, and that probably shouldn't have said it that way, but <laughs> we've got animal bone. That looks like a hip bone. Yep. Yep, we go right in there. Yeah. Probably a deer? I'm assuming out here, yeah. All right. That's the first time I've ever pulled a bone up out of the water. This stick can go over there. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? All right, let's evaluate. What, are we, what do you think? I don't know. I've never, wow, this is this kind of, maybe a shoe rack? Oh, first of all, it's gotta go this way because there's bottom thing on there. These are almost like, like it folds up. Maybe it's a chair? You know what? It might have been. Because this looks like. Yeah. All right. And that definitely looks like that would have been where this. I bet they're both white. Huh. That's good enough for me. All right. Rock on. You still haven't found a chair, right? Uh, no. 
scares on my bucket list. Let's see, a bike. So I haven't found a bike or a scooter. <sighs> hey, what in the world? Hey guys. <sighs> Jason just hooked on to something here. Looks like more of yeah, more of that same type of box or whatever you had on the other side. Oh, so a tackle box or toolbox? That looks like a money box. Think so? Is there a lock on it anywhere? Oh yeah, I bet you're right. Yeah, look at the for each. Uh huh. Okay, so somewhere down there could be a. Uh, the rest of this or it could be something good all right i'm either on a log or i've got something serious right now <clears throat> holy crap this is heavy and it's still coming with me ah oh. no it, it came off but it was uh i don't think that was a log Chrissy will kill me for this, but I'm doing it anyways. You still on it? I don't know. It's there's that lip that's right there, and I'm hitting that lip, and it's not getting past that lip. All right, Jason is clicked back on. Oh, and it's a chair. Well, there you go, brother man. Oh. There you go. All right. Oh, that is. All right. Jason can scratch off of his, uh, bucket list Hunter. and it's even got a floral decorative power oh, uh, pattern on it <laughs> sweet fine all right this is what i was pulling earlier like jason might be hooked on something oh my just watch this branch here you don't want it to yeah it <sighs> and it went right to it too holy crap oh <sighs> An anchor? I don't know. It's an anchor. It looks like, oh my lord. <laughs> oh no, you know what it is? It's the top to one of those. It sure is. Acetylene things or whatever. Tanks. Goodness gracious. <sighs> Someone might use this anchor. It looks like it's cut off, so. Yeah. Wow. All right, I think this is what I was pulling from out there. Makes a good anchor, I'm sure. All right, I'll tell you what. If there's any doubt that this brute magnetic 3,600 pound magnet will do its job, there it was right there. It popped. Damn, fishing line. Oh, nope, there's something on here. Flashlight. Flashlight. That's oh. awesome, dude. <laughs> that is cool. Okay. Extra points if it works. Yeah, right. Uh, nope. <laughs> no extra points for that one. <laughs> All right. Well, I can only assume the people in a hook who had the knife that they robbed the store at that had the <laughs> lockbox right. used the flashlight. Right. We're we got a we got a whole um, crime scene scenario going on here. <laughs> Amazon must have had a few deliveries down here. He's been down there for a while. There, he's got a little missus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazon delivers and delivers. There we go. There you go. Is that a tire? It sure is. That's like a trailer tire. Uh, one more tug. There we go. Uh. Sweet. I guess I can scratch that off the list too. Yeah, no kidding. Tire. All right, guys, we have moved down from the first bridge we were at. 
we're at the second one down here like i said it's just a few hundred feet down from where we were at just around that curve down there this one has a boat ramp right here a little different setup than the other bridge but we're going to give this one a shot and see what we can come up with Uh, yeah, I'm clicking on some stuff right down there. I'm clicking on All right, we got some more of that middle strap. Looks like that might have, I don't know, well, looks like it might have been a nail, but that thing is all bent. All right, guys, Jason has found something over here. He keeps clicking on it, but... that time oh my god it i felt it a little bit but holy moly yeah would you all right let me give you a quick update on where we're at we got the come along working you've got to hook up over here and we are trying to wrench loose whatever is down here and it's big and it is heavy and it is producing some bubbles oh yeah keep it going it's moving and there's oil you've uh at least moved it at what about a foot or so Feel like you got it's oh, oh you so came off, off. Oh. let's see if uh you broke it loose enough to um do some good here oh there's a lot of oil there it is oh yeah i got it moving i can actually move it now hey got it got it yeah right here right here See if you can hook into it. What the heck? Dude! What is it? It's a freaking motorcycle frame. Seriously? That is a motorcycle frame. Me. I might have to get my hook. Come on. There you go. Is it? Watch it? Holy crap. Is that a motorcycle frame? I have no idea. I don't know what else it would be. All right, guys, if you guys know what it is, drop a comment. I really don't know. All right, well, persistence. Nice job. Yes, sir. Hey, what? we got us a little friendly. Oh, little crab. Do you want to go back to your home? Yeah, there's a lot of oil over here too. All right, well, I got something on this one. Oh. Is a spring. <laughs> oh. A vehicle spring. <laughs> all right check out what jason just got Woo! 
Here's your sign. Here's your sign. Yep. I think it's been down there for a while too. It's all bubbly. Yep. Oh. Bubbly. Yes. Or a fancy shooting star. That's a half of a saw blade. Heck yeah. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Jason's killing it at this location. I think we had a pretty good day here at our first location. But we're going to move on. And you're going to be there with us. All right. And we are back. We're on Six Mile Creek Bridge. This is where Jason and myself fished a few weeks ago and pulled up the newspaper dispenser. That was on that side of the bridge. We're gonna hit this side today. All right, we got something snagged on here. We got a bungee cord. Thank you. All right, I found something here. Let's see what we got. Well, one, found an Altoids tin. Altoids. Not really sure what this is. Some rusty, rusty piece of metal falling apart. And a bag with something in it. Double gummed spots. Ah. What is it? It's a socket. Oh, okay. It is a five thirty second socket. Well, that's the best thing we found here. Right inside this tin that was inside this bag. Well. That's interesting. Well, at least it wasn't a drug bag. <laughs> All right, looks like we got us a big old long metal stake of some sort. Turn around this way so it's in the sun. All right, guys, well, we are done out here for the day. I want to thank everybody for sticking with us watching i hope you all enjoyed if you like this video please subscribe hit that notification bell give me a big thumbs up and also leave me a comment if you would please i enjoy reading everybody's comments also if you would like to get yourself a magnet please check out brute magnetics right here the link will be down in the description or you can use checkout code tms10 and i want to give a big shout out to jason back here from daddy and daughter plus water we had an incredible day we will be doing more of these together. So stay with us and please go check out his channel. All right, we're gonna do a recap of the goodies we pulled up today. Out at the first location, when we were at the second bridge, Jason snagged onto this and we had to use the come along to get it loose. Once we broke it loose, we were able to pull it up. If you have any ideas what that is, please drop a comment down in the comment section. One of the other, finds of Jason was uh, this big old sign right here. I really think it's possible that there may be three more of them in there because on that bridge where this was at, there were four brand new signs just like this. So they very likely could have thrown all four of them in the water when they put the new ones up. This right here, it's like it's the top to a cylinder, like a gas cylinder. Somebody may have been using it as a anchor because it's pretty heavy. Then of course, there's the spring. From here, I pulled up this Altoids, this little bag with not even really sure what that was. I know the uh, 532nd socket was in it. Flashlight, this looks like it may have been a money box. Unfortunately, there was no money with it. Once again, I wanna thank you for watching. Please, if you like this video and you like what you saw, 
Give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget about Jason from Daddy and da Daughter Plus Water over here. He has an incredible channel. Him and his daughter go out and do some really neat things. Check him out. Their link will be down in the description. Go ahead and subscribe to both of our channels while you're there. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when our videos come out. Stay squatchy, y'all.